you know what when i have joined as a qa lead right it was a hectic experience it was tough it was frustrating i mean if you have to handle six or seven people under you right it is so hectic and tough in this video i'm going to talk about what are the different roles and responsibility many of you really wanted right you are inspiring to become a qa lead or you are probably going to become a qa lead or if you are already a qa lead right i'm going to talk about what are the different roles and responsibility first of all let me tell you i am right now almost like qa architect almost like qa manager above that right yes senior qa manager you can say that almost right so working as a architect mostly so i can definitely give you answers related to this right and i have prepared a uh, extensive points i really really want all of you to pay attention this is super amazing and definitely all of the points are going to help you even as a fresher or even if you have a some 3 to 4 year experience right these are the points which are my learnings that i'm giving you in very short videos all right let's get started awesome first of all the key role for any kind of a qa lead is that they have to oversee the testing process and they want to ensure that the whatever the software product or whatever the software that you are delivering right it meets the requirement quality standard see theoretically it is fine right pramod but how do i do it practically that is very important right so see first point is that you have to plan your activities guys planning the activity is very very important you have to sit down with the people who are basically your reportees right you have to plan you have to plan your test plans your test strategies what kind of testing that you are going to do right efforts what is the efforts that we have what is the time that we have properly in the scrum right we have to plan and we have to fit in all the things in this case right my learning is that you have to be proactive if you are a qa lead you have to be proactive you should know and trust me no one even care what you are doing right i have seen when we have a cross we have to collaborate with the cross functional teams right many times i have seen people even don't care what you are i mean because see you are collaborating with other team you have to collaborate with the development team designing team right as a qa lead right you should be aware about the high level important things what are different things are going live right it's all about delivery but again if you are delivering a product then cross functional collaboration it's your duty that's what important thing is right so when i was qa lead right i have to basically add many many sync ups between the devops developers designers so that everyone is aware about the requirement what exactly we are sending right let me tell you one scenario so there was a product that we are going to release and many of the developer actually didn't know that we are actually sending some kind of features some kind of features actually we are sending and that's where i come in as a qa lead my responsibility was to add or to collaborate right to let everyone know that yes there are these kind of features that actually going live are you aware of it because this can lead to a production bug because probably we have not properly tested or you have developed or you have basically not properly developed in this case right so that's a super important thing so managing the team right guys please make sure that if you are a qa lead right your team should work effectively right uh, ask them get the clarity if they need some help they need some mentorship right you have to be a great mentor right push them you have to push them so hard that okay we have to basically do for example 10 automation tickets example just an example for example in the one week we are doing 40 tickets example just a rough example you have to push you have to tell them that okay instead of doing 40 let's do 45 this time now they will also feel challenges right they will feel challenge they will feel good that okay yes uh, we have to deliver more so your team will be more effective and efficient that's what you have to do you have to push the boundaries of theirs right you have to monitor your testing progress that is super super important another important point is you have to provide feedback guys feedback is very important let them know let your team or reportees know that okay yeah you are doing great you are not doing great let them know clearly this is my learning you have to instruct them mentor them see i have taken many time sessions on the different technologies for example selenium rest assured even manual testing sessions i have taken right to teach them to teach my reportees if they are not aware of it right so there was one of the case where we uh, lots of fresher joined we directly put it them into a automation we they are good in coding but they are very poor in the manual stuff or a core software testing so i have to take those sessions right they are not even aware about the basic testing techniques so i have to tell them these are the techniques this is how you have to develop your test cases and this is how you will automate right these are the things so you have to know about this this is where the qa lead is important right automation point of view you have to see what exactly you have to automate what you don't have to automate what you have to fit in the scrums right you have to lower the risk you have to lower the risk by adding the p0 pipelines reports high level pipelines for example p0 p1 pipelines are you can add what is this p0 pipelines these are nothing but your test cases which are automated which you are basically going to release the project that you are going to release right this is what you need to do and it's all about matrices guys matrices basically means whatever the test closer reports that you have right bug report test report how many bugs are there how many test cases are run everything you have to manage you have to ask your team to basically send them or probably you are going to send them you should be a part of whenever there is a production bug you should be a part of it because 
because there will be a RCA done, which is root course analysis. So make sure you are part of that discussions with the other leads. Overall important point is that as a QA lead, it is very similar. You are having a baby and the software that you are delivering, is, right? It is a baby and you have to take care of that baby. And everyone is basically touching that baby and everyone is just, they are actually taking care of it, but you are actual mother for that case, right? This is like the simplest analogy I can give you in this case, right? Okay. Last point, which is continuous improvement testing process. You have to improve, you have to add documents. Documents are the super important things as a QA lead, start preparing document. Everything should be documented. Even if you have a certain things in automation code that you have added, document it because the next person who is going to join, right? They will not know these things. So you have to document the thing. Documentation is super important. So overall in the conclusion, I know it's a little long. See, overall conclusion, responsibilities are providing feedback, mentoring, testing process, ownership, proactiveness, collaboration with the other teams. This is what you need to do and the reports and matrices. This is all about QA lead that was I was doing, right? But I was also an individual contributor. I still code. So that's what again the point is. Okay. I hope you get the point, which is how QA lead mostly works. Let me add one more important point, which is when I was in a MNC, right? Which is multinational company here. They are the QA's lead that they have, right? They are more role towards the mentorship and delivering the important things. They are not doing the work at a ground level, to be honest. But when you are in a product, this company is right. You have to do the things at a ground level also, which means sometimes you have to test whatever it is going live, right? You have to test as a UAT, right? You have to become a beta tester and user sometimes to test it out because many junior testers also miss some other things, right? So make sure you do that. That is an important point. I thought I should let you know. All right. I hope it makes sense. Let me know in the chat what you think are the roles and responsibility of QLIT if you want to add anything, right? Thanks for joining. I hope that's helped. This is my learning that I'm giving you with my 11 years experience, right? Thanks for watching. If you're an existing subscriber, thanks for joining. If you're a new one, I create videos around software testing, development and productivity, right? I'll see you in the next video. This is your host, Pramod. Bye-bye.